Hello there and welcome to the first of many Smalltalk's basics tutorials. This tutorial will teach you how to create a project, load and unload different parcels, and to create a package with a namespace and its respective classes. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to load our VisualWorks projects and let's drag this in here. So we're going to create a new project and let's call this GUI project. Let's open it up and now you will see two windows which will pop up. One will be your workspace and the other will be where the image is saved and this has all the other stuff. So let's first learn how to load and unload different parcels by going to right here and see open a parcel manager. This opens our parcel manager and we have a var variety of different sort of parcels that can be loaded whether you want databases, applications, web development, if you want to use Seaside or Web Toolkit let's go to popular for now and just load the RB code highlighting which helps to read code visually so we just click on it and we go to the top left over here and we can load parcels and it'll load it you can also right click and press load which I've already done so I can't now so let's close the parcel manager and go to our system browser system browser contains all the classes it is sort of like it the the API for Java if for those of you coding Java it has all the classes and it's really useful so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a package um, so you put new package and we're gonna call this package GUI project press OK so we've now created a GUI project you will see the little warning sign if you haven't commented so let's just say this is our GUI project and you put control S save saves it perfect now within the project we want to create a namespace first namespace is where all the classes will be stored and therefore things can be used within classes if they are in the same namespace you can also use other classes obviously and we'll get into that later so let's create a namespace and let's call this GUI project now now that we've created GUI project we want to create a class within GUI project so since this is a graphic user interface project we're going to first create a new class and we right click GUI project, press new class, and then we are going to call this our main window. The super class is not going to be object, we're going to make it application model. This creates an application which we will show you later. So you create an application and if you have any instance variables you can put them here for now we're going to leave that empty. It's the advanced tab and then that's basically it. So let's just press OK and now you can see we have created a main window we commented and say this is our main window for the GUI project and we see our initialize calls the super method and then you can replace this with any code that you wish which we will get to in the next tutorial that is all for today thank you very much for listening